Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. Today I'm going to be doing a short commentary on one of the biggest criticisms that Assassin's Creed Valhalla is facing. And this criticism is coming from the old school crowd that have actually played Assassin's Creed from the early days of the franchise. Now, before I actually start this video, I just wanted to go ahead and give a few caveats. If you see here on my Uplay library, I've been fortunate enough to collect a lot of Assassin's Creed games as Ubisoft had been giving a lot of them for free. And from Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3, you know, 4, Black Flag, and all the others, I've played them, almost all of them, intermittently, but I've never really beaten any one of them until I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, one of the things that kept me with Odyssey was the world, the setting, Hellenistic culture, the ancient Greek culture at that time is something that is really of interest to me. And that kind of kept me playing and I got to see a lot of things with the game and it didn't feel like the other Assassin's Creed games that you can say in the sense of from these old, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed games, one of the games that I can remember playing very well from, you know, that I would say one of those, you know, periods was Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I didn't finish this one. I did play for a few hours, uh, but he never was able to capture me. But I do remember that there were specific aspects of Black Flag that, you know, kind of established what an Assassin's Creed game actually did feel like. You felt like an assassin. You were an assassin, not just feeling like it. You executed and actually carried out the missions in that way. But over time, it seemed like they started to change that up a little bit and, you know, kind of make the formula appeal to a much broader audience. And then they absolutely flipped it on its head with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And also, please note that I also have Origins as well. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's on my other Uplay account. I, I have I have another one there somewhere. I have Origins. It's not here, though. But if you think about it, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is following in the footsteps of Odyssey, but the development team have actually taken the time to actually start bringing in some of the good old systems, mechanics, and I would say the things that made the old Assassin's Creed game special into Valhalla in order to pull the heartstrings of the Assassin's Creed fans. And with the criticism that I've been hearing so far, it appears that many people are judging this new formula and, you know, actually saying that it is super different from the Assassin's Creed old formulas that they don't see any reason why this game should be considered an Assassin's Creed game. The truth could not be, uh, you know, anything further than that. If anything, from what I've played so far and the best way that I can do without giving away any spoilers, I have to say that. I've gone to the point in Valhalla where I actually had those memories of what I played of Black Flag from the good old Assassin's Creed, uh, you know, collection. And some of what I played in Syndicate. Syndicate, I think I only got about a few hours into it as well. And that's exactly what I'm saying, that none of the Assassin's Creed games uh, necessarily appealed to me until I got to Odyssey. So why they changed the formula I don't know, but I'm glad they did because that gave me and probably a good number of players the leg to come into the franchise. And then at the same time, they also are looking to where they can kind of continue to serve the dedicated audience as well. So when you put all of this together, you still have an Assassin's Creed game. If there's any game you want to actually criticize for not necessarily being an Assassin's Creed game in all of the lines or having a lot of those uh, similarities, I think Odyssey might be the one that stands out. But Odyssey is just a darn good game, even when you criticize it for not being a traditional Assassin's Creed game you still have to come to terms with what a good game it actually is for people who play it. For those of you who may not know, I have about 60 hours on it. I beat the main story and progressed through it, and that was it for me, and that's fine with me. I play Tom Clancy's The Division, which I have a bunch more hours on, so there's no way I would have kept playing Odyssey you know, that long. But for me to have actually gotten that far, when you look at maybe even Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I have an hour here, and I remember when it first released, I had about two hours. Uh, the other is Black Flag, I didn't even touch it on PC at all, which is crazy. I actually did have it on the PlayStation 4. Assassin's Creed 3, never touched it. Some of you are probably cringing and saying Assassin's Creed, you know, Creed 3 is the best one, but I necessarily never found them to be appealing enough 
for me to want to invest the time in them. But with the new formula where we have open worlds, we have, you know, ancient mythologies, uh, we have a new setting, we have graphics that are actually pretty cool. And then we now have these older systems. I can say that definitely the development team for this franchise have been listening. And this is an Assassin's Creed game in the traditional sense and especially with what technology is capable of bringing and exactly what people expect from open world games in this uh, you know in this time so that's pretty much my little commentary on this i appreciate you guys for listening i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section i'm not saying go buy assassin's creed valhalla please nobody get me wrong um, i'm using uplay uh Ubisoft Plus, which is a subscription service, so I wouldn't even tell anybody to go spend $60 on it. To me, this game is probably not worth that $60 price point because I paid very little for Odyssey. I, I bought it on sale, and so I would say if you can wait for a sale, sure, but if you think, you know, you've what I've said so far about some of these different, uh, you know, strings and strands that hold these old Assassin's Creed games seem to be appearing here. And even all the other good stuff from the new Assassin's Creed franchises are also going to be embedded in here. I think you find yourself a decent game that you can play. If you're an Assassin's Creed fan, you can burn your 100, 200, however many hundred hours or whatever it is. Uh, I played over a number of years. And if they add DLC and all that, it might be something you want to invest in. But I'll talk to you all soon. Like I said, hit me up in the comment section. Peace.